Welcome, Scorpio. This is your weekly focus, March the 25th through to the 31st. I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly, and we're going to dive right into the cards, okay? Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Okay, Scorpio, look at this. We get the High Priestess front and center. This is the time to go within. You know, the mystic, the mystic comes alive within you. I have no better way of saying that. I mean, with all the energy up that's happening up in the sky and whatnot, and this week in particular with the lunar eclipse, this is when the mystic appears. So usually I tell you to sit in quiet contemplation and look within and see the magic that is within you. But we could be exploring new depths here as well. We could be seeing, you know, um, maybe some kind of psychic ability, some kind of, a, you know, your intuition might be strong or you can tap into your sage wisdom easily. There's magic around you. There's magic within you. See your talents, see your abilities, see the unique self. Understand the beauty of who you are, the gift you are to us, to us all. Move the mic in here a little bit. I didn't do that. Okay, there we go. Queen of Wands, this is about gaining some kind of enthusiasm about where you're going, getting excited, um, getting motivated, building some kind of momentum. I think your enthusiasm is important this week. You may have things to be very enthusiastic about, or maybe you have to paint your own rainbow this week and get enthusiastic about what might be. But enthusiasm plays a large role. We have the judgment card as well. So this is really a time when... Well, first of all, you're rewarded. You're rewarded for what you do in this world, what you give of yourself. This is a time when rewards come in. It is also a time to leave the past in your rearview mirror. It's a time to be reborn, rebirth. It's time to let the mystic out. And when I say the mystic, it, it's just, it's somebody who is knowing, okay? That they're comfortable with tapping into their sage wisdom and their intuition and using them as tools to go forward. Okay, let's look at work and career. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Something new coming on the horizon. This is a new path of abundance opening up to you. So abundance, prosperity. This could be love. But we are in work and career, so, you know, it would have to be that uh, the office affair kind of happening. We don't want that. So uh, chances are we don't want that. What we want is the abundance, the prosperity. And so something may cross your path this week for you to think about stepping into, accepting in some way. This could be a promotion. This could be a raise in pay. This could be... A job offer, this could be you moving yourself, elevating yourself in some way in your career. Or maybe you have um, a sideline or maybe you're an entrepreneur and something comes together this week for you. Something is either proposed to you, probably proposed to you more than coming together. And even if you don't think that you want to take it, something comes into um, that invites you to take it, if that makes any sense. Something opens up to you in some way. We have the Three of Cups. This is about enjoying, having passion. This is good news coming in. This is really good news coming in for you. Um, this is about something worth celebrating. This is about laughter and giggles and having that because that raises our energy. And when we raise our energy, good things come to us. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles says the storm is over, that you've been through the hardest part, that now is the time to sit there contently and with, um, you know, a self-confidence that you made it. You made it through the storm. You're in the here and now and you're ready to go forward with a surety, with an understanding, with a grace. 
see what we got over here in this pile. We got stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. So maybe it has something to do with the environment. Um, but stay determined. Stay determined and move forward. You know, on those days when you really don't feel like showing up, being present, those are the most important days. Be prepared for any possibility. So go with the flow. Be open to change. Be open to having to change directions, you know, within minutes, making quick decisions. Okay, but I, I also think that your mind is sharp for that too. So don't worry about that as much. Just take the time to think it through first. Embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled relationships, children, or childhood. Um, this is in work and career. Some of you are working with children. That could be something. Or your children have grown to a point where you can enter the workforce again because they took up your time before. They were the job before. Um, new friends or rekindled relationships. Somebody could come from the past, offer you work, offer you employment, offer you a contract, offer you a partnership. And embrace your inner child. Well, we got that, you know, just even with the, the three of cups coming out to celebrate and enjoy and to find the happiness in the moment. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. The, the, the deep and lasting spiritual insights, I think that, you know, if you connect with that mystic within you, you will get insights, insights that will stay with you for the rest of your life, probably. Fulfilling romantic relationships. Once again, we got relationships in, in work and career. Um, take that for what it might be for you. It might be, you know, I'm sure, you know, it, it matters to somebody out there must be talking about it or thinking about it because it's showing up for you. A positive new emotional experience. A positive new emotional experience. Something worth celebrating. Something that moves you forward. Something that brings back your self-confidence or that, that that spring in your step or that feeling of of being in the moment being alive ready to conquer the world go to relationships we got the nine of swords stop worrying about all the small stuff it doesn't matter okay if it's not going to matter in five years then it's not worth fighting about because you're not going to you're not going to remember it in five years so why have that downtime collaborate talk it out have a healthy dialogue about it but you know stop worrying about it get it off your chest say it out loud what's bothering you what's worrying you don't hold it within don't grow stories in your head and there's something about not feeling safe or secure um So there could be trust issues right now within a lot of relationships. There could be, um, yeah, or, or feelings of safety, feelings of security. Like they, they make you feel grounded or do they tense you up? You know, are you relaxed with them or are you kind of sitting on the edge of your seat trying to please them or do more for them or maybe they're not doing anything for you and you need them to do something for you but let go of the worry let let go of the worry absolutely look at the big picture look at the relationship as a whole rather than maybe the fight you had with them or the disagreement the argument or where they didn't do something that you were hoping they would do. Or they did do something that you were hoping they would not. On the Seven of Pentacles is your focus on the relationship. Because if you're not present for the relationship. Then that could be a lot of what's worrying you. What's what's driving you. So being present usually will answer the majority of your questions that you're putting out there right now. And the Five of Cups. So I, I get this pulled down when it comes to relationships for you. Um, 
more about endings or drawing lines in the sand perhaps when it comes to your relationships who is going to be your inner circle who is not who you will hold dear to your heart who you will not i think you're coming to some conclusions on on the people you love and if that love comes back This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner partner you seek. So maybe that's just a validation of the relationship you are already in. Maybe you're looking for somebody and maybe, you know, you just you're you're making it too difficult on yourself. Okay? They're in your own backyard somehow. You see them every day, perhaps. You pass them in the street, perhaps. You know, and I, I hear of all these stories all the time, you know, where, oh, yeah, well, we went to high school together. And then, you know, and then all of a sudden, like around 15 years later, we were at this thing and there there they were. And, you know, we, we talked and everything. And then five years later, oh, yeah, we met here. And how you keep crisscrossing until you realize sometimes, until you're both ready to make that commitment to each other. So this could be a best friend. You know, and maybe it's just a validation to take that relationship a little bit deeper. Okay, let's look at our positive growth. Personal growth. We have the chariot. The chariot is about pulling it back and thinking things through. We want to know where the where the trip wires are. We want to know where there might be problems. Uh, setbacks so we want to know what we're stepping into so we want the fog to lift a little bit we want the clarity and understanding to come in i don't know if that understanding and clarity will actually come in this week for you it's more of an inner journey with you this week it seems knight of pentacles is going with the flow trusting trusting that exactly where you want to be you will be as long as you go with the flow and have a trust in yourself and god your angels page of cups is here so dream it big dream it loud okay and we want to push the dreams we want to push the dreams right up until we actually put a limitation on it because that is the only limitations that can be right now when we're creating it in our mind and what is that limitation and why do we feel that way and maybe we can move past that so we can be the rock star of our world and we have the king of wands so it's about enthusiasm we have the queen and now the king is here so it's not so much about having the um everything all your ducks in a row and everything organized and a strategic advancement it's more about a couple of bullet points and giving something a try and putting some energy into something and seeing what happens with it to play with the energy a little bit about feeling like you can't fail because you're not trying to succeed you're just trying to learn and have some fun Good fortune. Invite the magic in. You being the mystic this week, you definitely have the power to invite the magic in. So do it, please. Dreams. Believe in your dreams. Don't let them go. Hold on to them tight. Allow them their own divine timing to manifest in your life. Competition. Summon courage and self-confidence. You've got this. You know what you're doing. You've been, you've walked the path, you've got the knowledge, you've got the wisdom. You are, you know, unique and divine. You have passions and dreams that are unique and all your own. It makes you a one of a kind, unique individual. They won't find another you anywhere in the world. So you can rise to the top quite easily. and take a leap of faith so embrace any kind of transformation trying to happen in your life right now delve into your passions absolutely focus on your own personal growth self-reflection is important more importantly than anything else i said is embrace that mystic that beautiful mystic inside of you let that mystic out let that inner child out and, and do a divine dance of three build that unity within yourself to grow your confidence 
and just just to grow your knowing until we meet again remember i do love you Thank you.